afternoon all. Now I've just got um, the NRF 24L01 Plus data modules working. I used uh, the UNO as a transmitter, there's the transceiver there, and I used the NANO as a receiver, there's its module plugged in, and the USB cable goes up to my PC, and on the uh, serial monitor, of course I've got no radio data coming through, because the transmitter has no power. But now what's involved in switching the transmitter's transceiver to the more powerful one um, with the external antenna? And I think the solution is this little baseboard. And I'll try and locate that and put a link to uh, a seller for that. But that has a 3.3 volt regulator on board. So what I need to do, I think, is move this ribbon cable red wire, the positive, from 3.3 onto 5, squirt 5 volts down the line here into this baseboard on the VCC and ground pins here. The regulator will then generate the 3.3 and feed it into the transmitter. And that should be all that's required. And then I should get a much greater range. So let's give that a try. Well, that was remarkably easy. So now we've got mobile power bank providing USB 5 volts for the UNO. Um, I'm taking 5 volts now. I've moved that red pin and I'm putting 5 volts on ground down the wire to the baseboard. That, as I say, has a 3.3 volt voltage regulator on it with capacitors there to provide the um, power reservoir for the transceiver and here's the more powerful transceiver with its antenna and we have data. So now the question is has this thing got greater range? I'm going to put it right down the end of the garden. So here it is, here's the uh, high power transmitter and the UNO and the power bank and I've put it on my wood pile at the bottom of the garden near the shed and it's going to have to transmit all the way down the garden and back to the house. Now I don't know how long this garden is but it's probably 30 meters or something like that. There's the table that I had it on before where we were getting sort of intermittent transmission uh, data and uh, it's going to have to go all the way down here through a couple of walls of the house and into the workshop. Is it going to work? Well now that's very interesting. Data is coming over but it's highly intermittent. We're getting sort of 50-50 no radio available with the actual data. Now I'm holding the antenna in my hand here. And it doesn't seem to matter too much where I position that. Um, if I cover it with my hand I can make things considerably worse. What I'm doing now is just sort of putting my hand over the transceiver. That gives me no data at all. Take my hand away. But I don't seem to be able to get things to be much better. Uh, let me try lifting this right up high. Well, I certainly can't get consistent results with consistent data. I'll bring the transmitter slightly nearer, I think. Now, I'm no expert on RF, but I just wondered whether if I connected a wire to what is essentially the ground point of this antenna, the outer connector, so I've just wrapped a bit of wire around there, and I've put it down on the ground, and I've kind of just poked the other end literally into the soil, just poked it into a hole that I found in the ground. Am I mad, or could this possibly work? So, no, I'm no RF expert. That doesn't seem to have made any difference at all. So now I will actually bring, bring it a little bit nearer um, to the house. So I'm kind of about halfway down the garden. There's my mobile power bank and UNO and the transmitter. And uh, I'm here sort of halfway. The wood piles up there. Uh, the solar panels are there. The table where I originally had it is in the centre of the shot there. Let's see if that's any better. So, no, not really. Uh, 
got data coming through, but it's still intermittent um, with no data. I'm going to put it back on that table where I had the original transmitter to see how it works there. So I've put this uh, high power transmitter back on the mosaic table, which is just at the top of the stairs and my workshop's down there. Let's try that. And uh, still losing data. So, I mean, in terms of um, data reliability, this is actually worse than the normal transceiver module in the same location. So I'm a little bit mystified. I mean, this thing clearly has the range because it was able to transmit this quality of data right from the end of the garden. But there's something odd going on here. So running out of ideas now, um, how about the big 3.3 microfarad tantalum capacitor across pins one and two? Let's give that a try. And back again to the original transmitter location, the mosaic table. Nope, still getting that. Um, it's very odd. The data's there and it's quite readable, but it's interspersed with no radio available. It's almost as though, I don't know, it's almost as though it's transmitting half the time and half the time it isn't. I'm going to bring it back indoors. So it's back on the mat by the front door and uh, things are a little better now, but still not as good. Let me just raise the receiver up. Yeah, that's better. Still not as good as the low power transmitter. I'm just going to try something. Well, now I've got fairly consistent data coming in now. And where's the transmitter? I'll show you. It's actually back out here on the wood pile, right up at the end of the garden. So what have I done to improve the situation? So what I've done is I've actually put a delay 50 into the loop of the receiver because I just kind of felt that um, the receiver was missing data because it was kind of trying to get it too quickly. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but that certainly seems to improve things. Now, because I doubt my uh, earlier estimate of how long the garden is, I found this 7.5 meter pound shop tape measure. So let's see how far the transmitter is actually away. So yeah, according to my uh, pound shop tape measure, it was almost exactly 30 meters away. Data is coming in quite consistently now. Um, doesn't seem to be troubled too much by orientation of the receiver. So certainly a, a reasonable range, 30 meters is about 100 feet, but I have had to slow down the loop of the receiver. Interesting.